Hey, what's up everyone? It's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment coming to you with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my approach when it comes to exporting my tracks when it comes to the MPC X. Now, when it comes to the MPC X, it's a, a different approach to when I'm using my MPC 60, my MPC 3000, MPC 2000 XL, MPC 4000. Um, because on those machines or those older machines, you don't have the luxury of having to export your track internally with the machine you always have to export everything to the individual outputs which leave this machine to have an upper hand compared to those uh, older machine because i can export everything just by the touch of one button and in today's video i'm going to show you how i export my tracks now i do also take the approach of exporting my tracks through the individual output so I can use my outdoor gas like my compressors and my EQs and stuff like that um, so it can give me that extra what I'm looking for but the downside to that is that especially on the MPC X you're limited when it comes to the outputs um, you only have six output plus a stereo output so let's say you have a, a beat that's 16 tracks you know you're limited on how much tracks you have um, output that you can output at the same time so um versus when you do everything internally um just by the press of one button you can have everything um going to your DAW individually like you could have if you have 24 tracks if you have 32 tracks you can also always bounce those tracks um to your sd card and go directly into your DAW. Uh, which make life a lot easier, but in post-production, in my opinion and in my workflow, it gives me more to do when it comes to mixing in the DAW. Um, I already sp speak about, you know, my in my videos, in my previous video, I already talk about um, the downside of me mixing directly in the DAW versus me uh, mixing through my analog board and then sending it to the DAW. Do videos like that. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's just two ways you can go about it. So for instance, if I take the approach of having all my individual tracks sent to an SD card directly into my computer, I will have more work to do in my post-production versus when I output to my individual into my EQ and compressors is the less I will have to do in my DAW. So let's say you make your beat and you have all the different sequences uh, the different different pattern um, set what you can do is go ahead and create a song now once you create a song then you can put the different sequences of how long you want them um, like I have them right here that's my intro so then I have my chorus coming in Okay, so I created a song. So once I create a song, um, I'm gonna go right here to my song that I created. And once I do that, I can go into menu, save, and right here you're gonna see the option of audio mix down. So audio mix down, not just stereo output. You wanna go into explode tracks. So right here, you can set your your sample rate. I normally do uh, 48, uh, 48, 24 bit. That's how I have it on my DAW. So you always have to make sure like it have to correspond to the same sample rate that's on your DAW than the setting that you have on your DAW. So let's say on my DAW I have 48 um, by 24 bit. That's how much I want to export my tracks to. It's not. It's gonna be slower. Um, or faster depending on the sample rate that you choose so bear that in mind and then you want to go ahead and export um, create new folder then you name your folder bam 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 once you name your folder then you press save um, and all your individual tracks will be saved as a song so remember that to create your song so everything is already laid out like on my DAW right now everything is laid out So 
so you know all those effects and stuff um i added in my daw and i do all the mixing and eqing in my daw um of course it's not gonna give me the same result that if i was using my analog um outdoor gears and stuff like that it will not um it will be clean very very clean but that extra punch that i always like um that me personally i only get when i'm mixing down um through my analog um it's gonna be missed doing it like this you know if you're not outputting from your individual tracks um if you guys some kind of information in this video uh thumbs up this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel it's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button for more interested videos like this it's your main dj roxy from roxy entertainment everybody have a blessed day a blessed night until next time peace out Bye.